Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and wow, is the rain really coming down. Yeah, I'm, I'm staying in the cab. <laughs> anyway, this is Farming Simulator 17, and we are in Goldcrest Valley. And this is the cultivator I wanted to leave outside to see if he would wash up in the rain without having to get the uh, pressure washer out here. And I don't know, I'm, I'm a little undecided. I'm assuming that there was there's no issue of the dirt going away because I just restarted the game so I'm thinking the rain is doing all that this thing was absolutely filthy before for that matter so well we still have some dirt on the fenders um jump in cab not many footprints down below though it is kind of dark F well F, F does the lights of that not my light <laughs> so if I were to Let's see, the warrior should be one away, right there. He's still, she's still working at planting. Yeah, glad I got back here in time. Unhire, do it again. Boy, I tell you, starting over with poplars is not an easy thing to do and have the AI figure it out. I am a little frustrated with poplars. We didn't have this issue with all the other crops that I remember. Okay, hire you again. So we have got to get back over here to watch this one. Oh, new uh, new helper now. When uh, when we get to the other end, but I don't know. I was going to look to see how dirty that tractor was. Truck is still still really dirty underneath. So I don't know if it's cleaning or not. Looking for everything that's sitting outside. Most of ours, of our pieces, are not outside. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's still pretty dirty. We'll see what happens by the end of the rainstorm. But what I was wanting to do was, was uh, yeah, we'll put this away while I'm, while I'm, rambling over here. You in the air? I think you are. Yeah is to get some manure over to those uh, those new greenhouses and maybe figure out what we're going to put in between the two lettuce greenhouses is that what it was see i'm going this way let's get this one put away and think about the rest as well as where do we have all the manure how much do we actually have hold you up You go right in that slot there. All right, that way. There's probably a rule of thumb to know exactly when to turn and not to. Kind of like uh, parallel parking. And when your bumper gets even with your front bumper gets even with the rear bumper or the door or something. Some magic little uh, thing like that. Uh, Q? Yeah. Anyway. Let's look this way. Maybe that's the best way to figure it out. Um, animals. Does this tell us manure in here? It does. There's 406... No, manure. 224 versus 12,000. There we go. 12,000 art... Big tippers can handle 20,000. I don't remember what the little tipper could handle. Let's escape and head into our garage and figure that out. So our little tipper is this guy. Handles 15,000. So these guys handle what? 21. Okay. So if we brought one of these in a tractor with a front loader out to the cows and loaded up all the manure, then came back. I think that's a plan. We can do that during the rain. Okay. So, hop out of there. Um, this guy can handle the uh, the front loader. I'm pretty sure he can. Let's do that. Let's hop in cab. We'll drop off that front weight. While we're at it. Hopefully the parts are all over here where they're supposed to be. Yeah, there they are. Now this, I like to sit right on this little end cap. Seems to be a good place to put it and keep it out of the way. Don't whack it. There. Yeah, somewhere like that. And that implement is selected, so Q. Drop you down. 
Yep, that worked. Now, I haven't played this game since before my trip to California, so all those episodes you've seen were pre-recorded then. So it's been a while since I've driven one of these, and normally I get in and drive for a little while before I start recording, just to get my fingers used to, you know, the mus muscle memory, is that what it's called? Used to uh, doing this again, but I logged in and saw it was raining and worried that the game might just set its own little timer and turn the rain off after so many minutes or seconds of of the storm, so I didn't want to risk well, close in there uh, missing the, the storm for the recording, so I didn't do any practice driving. There we go. Where am I? There I am. My forwards and backwards figured out. So we need a tipper, and we also need to get the water. And that's all going to be over there. Alright, so let's race on off to uh, to the cattle farm. Where is my bucket right now? That's ah, a little low. Let's do this. Yeah, I like that better. Now I can... Yeah, I can get to the road from here. Nobody coming. So what else was going on last episode? Oh, I know what's going on. Pull over and grab that Uber. Yeah, shift and tab, right? Yep. Oh, this is killing me. This is killing me. <sighs> All right, let's go to this end. <laughs> I'm about to say we're done with poplars. We're going to be out of poplars here soon. Let's see if this makes a difference. And I'll take a look up here while the... Oops! That didn't make the turn like I thought it would. There we go. Take a peek at these again when the game's not lagging. Because it started lagging on me last time. I don't know if it was the rain or... I just hit the end of my memory or... The graphic card got warm or what that was. That was a little annoying. But it, it hit just about right. It was time to turn it off. Alright. Hire you out. Actually, don't. Let's do something. Let's go clear back over here and hire you out. I wonder if it has anything to do with... No, you don't even want to do it, okay? With where you are in relation to the field. Whether they've got to pull in and start their work, or if they're already in place and don't have to think about it. I don't know. Of course, the only way to guarantee it is just to restart them right here in row one, and it's certain to, to finish it, but... That shouldn't have to be necessary. All right, so tab gets me back to where I was, and let's go get some man manure. Did I really not get the tipper? I really did not get the tipper. Well, that was a, was a good thing that I uh, I uh, didn't finish my, uh, my pathway there. I would have been really disappointed. <laughs> I would have just gone to the store and bought another tipper, just to spite it. Alright, so this guy can handle 15,000 liters. Alright, yep, that wasn't it, but it'll work. Alright, in the cab. Now let's get over there. And probably should hit some lights as soon as I'm not steering with the same fingers that that uh, need to turn the lights on. There we go. And two more clicks gives me high beams, which is a little annoying. There we go, we'll do that. I forget which button turns on the uh, the, the beacons. I think tractor equipment is probably supposed to have beacons on to be on the main road, but... Oh well. Now, which turn was it? I think it's right after... Actually, it's one more after the river, if I remember right. It's this one over here. That mirror says I'm clear. Blink, 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 blink. Screech. There we go. I think this one goes to the cattle. And looking good. Where does this come out? Is it this way yet? Uh... 
right, I'm going to have to look. I am there, and so it's right and left. Okay, nine. Let's try to remember that road taking off that direction. Okay, this, yeah, this looks right. And nobody coming, we'll turn in over here. So one more road yet would have done it. So two roads past the river. That's what I needed to know. Well, I hear some moving going on out there. And actually, this is where I'm going. Okay. So let's... Hmm. Let's back up. We'll come in at more of an angle. So come in... Kind of like... This. And let's see, rear is selected? Yeah. Oh good, I can still make the turn. I'm gonna hop outside so you guys can see what I'm doing. And to tell the truth, so that I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, something like that. Be careful not to clip that wall with the bucket. Okay, height. Whoa, I'm going downhill. It just kept on going. Okay. I noticed from some of those... Uh, videos that I did before my trip that whenever I would let off the gas real fast and slam the brakes I'd hear a big click in the uh, in the video so I'm going to have to take this uh, pedal apart figure out where plastic is hitting plastic and a little felt pad or something down there to stop that that was kind of annoying so it was annoying me right there so Let's see, what did I say? There was 12,000 here, and we're getting almost 2,000 a bucket. So seven buckets ought to do this. Just like so. Now, when you're uh, playing with silage, loose silage, and selling it, then you spend an awful lot of time with the with a front loader moving bucket after bucket to the uh, drop-off point. Although, you'd be using a much bigger front loader, either something that you'd find maybe on a telehandler or some of the other bigger equipment to do it. Not this little guy. This is just something to use around the around the farm. Boy, that rain is really coming down. Now, I don't know what the timing is going to be. Oh, I didn't. I was supposed to set that back to five speed. Okay, so it's going to rain a little longer than I had planned. This will be the rainy episode. Okay, what was that, three? Three or four? I'm thinking three. So we're about halfway done. Scraping the ground pretty hard there. Well, I'm finally getting to the point where I've got some more time for my daily schedule. So, let's see how many uh, new games I can get going and enjoy for the fall and, and winter. And maybe, maybe into just the first part of spring, then my business will get busy again, just like last year. So, I've already got a new game coming out. Uh, hmm... I guess the same day this one's coming out. Unless it's already come out. I've still got one Craft the World episode to release and then this one. So I don't remember the timing now, but it's a new game coming out called Tracks that uh, I am really enjoying. And I won't say much more. You'll, you'll find it. It'll be uh, episode one, it'll be on my channel either already or, or real soon. But uh, it's a game that I am enjoying messing around with. 
And then I want to get RimWorld up and going again. That was going to be my oops, my next uh, next series to release, but then Tynan went ahead and released a tweet the other day, about a week ago now, saying that Alpha 18 is in testing. If it's in testing, I really don't want to start Alpha 17 right now, so I might just have to stall off a little longer on that one and uh, wait and see what really happens with Alpha 18. Alpha 13 took all the way till 16 to finish, so I don't want to start 17 before, you know, right at the end of its run and be four alphas behind by the time I get it done. So, I think it'd be better to hold off another few weeks to a month and figure out just what he's got, uh, what he's got planned. I wish I had some kind of a forecast if that was days away, weeks away, or still not till next year. That would, that would help me out a lot if I knew. If it was still into early next year, I think we could squeeze out a series. Alright, that's done. Um, yeah, I know we can hook the water tank to this. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Now, we got room? Yeah. That worked out pretty well. Where am I at there? There I am. Alright, how to get out of this? Let's back up some more. And then let's go. Water tank should be over here. And out of curiosity, while I'm here, how's the cleanliness of these cows? Yeah, it's pretty rough. Let's drop a bucket through here. Not gonna get it all in one pass, but we'll get uh, we'll get quite a bit of it. That's Pretty good. Right there we'll do. Oops, let's try that way. And that really thick paint. Yeah, I managed to scoop under it. Alright, try it again. There we go. What is up? That one right there. Alright, well, we'll get the majority of this. Looks like that path right there will. Yeah, that looks good. So, what's the chance that I can drop that? Kind of. Let's see, if we do this for a little bit, then I can kind of do this. Oh, this concrete pillar is going to be in the way, isn't it? So close. There we go. I can make that work. There. Nope. Let's try it that way. There we go. So to get out of that, if I take that all the way up, I think I can make this turn. Alright. That works. Now, water tank. Water trailer. And the tricky backup. looking pretty good right there. And there it is. Cute. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Alright. Off to the greenhouse. Um, water. I've got 66%. Hmm. Do I want to dip this a little worried that, well, this is the uh, Massey Ferguson. Okay, it should have the power to uh, to get it back out of the drink if I roll back into it. Huh. Well, let's get over there and see how far 66% really goes. It may not be a need to have to go get more water just yet. Yep, a wet, dreary day. Which we don't get many of in this game, so that's that's fine. Now, best route over there is what? Where am I going? Going to the pigs. That's really our back route to get in there. 
I think that's the best one. My lights did go back on, right? Nope, they didn't. Okay. Hmm. Now I think a while. Well, not... Not that one. Actually, I think it was that one. Yeah. Just gonna see. Let me think a while. What was what was the button for the beacons? But then I missed my turn. It's over on the number pad. I remember that. Seems like one and three were the blinkers. So C two. No, oh, that's emergency lights. Emergency blinkers. Okay. All right. So. One is left blinker. Three is the other blinker. So let's go for five. That's lights. High beams and low beams. Ah, I see. So eight. Don't know what eight does. For all I know, it's going to release my trailer or something. Okay, there's rear lights. That's six. Four. Doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Seven and nine. What do they do? Seven. Nothing. Nine. Nothing. That I saw. Okay. Well, then I don't remember what uh, beacons were. Back in cab where it's a little quieter. Got our turn coming up here. Looks empty. Slow it down. There we go. Should start seeing the top of a greenhouse, right? Don't remember being that color though. Oh no, I've got to go up one more hill. There they are. All right, so. Let's deal with water first. Oh. Let's deal with this first. But we're looking good, aren't we? Interesting. So do they tend to want to turn to their right? Starting from the field we're aimed at right here, a right turn would have been the correct way. Starting from back over there, a right turn would be the wrong way. I wonder if they want to always turn right when they start unless they're at the end of the field and have no choice that might be a thing I'll have to test that someday I don't know I'd, I guess I rarely start restart a field right in the middle in order to no, have noticed a pattern after all this time huh anyway I was going to say let's start with water then I remembered we had to start with this you know with our start up with our uh poplar planter. Let's go back over here and just run the length of this place. See how many gallons one greenhouse takes to start with. And can I even get close enough? Oh, rolling downhill. Careful there. To get that water tank in there the first time. We'll get the rest of them easy. Will this first one get close enough? Alright, so if I pull that good right there and hit R, am I going to fill? Before I do, there's 4,850-ish. Didn't work. And I am selected. R. Ooh, it's working now. There's some tomatoes. So what did I say, 48? Wow. There's a lot of water. <laughs> so we're going to have to fill up again. We're only going to get two greenhouses out of this. Two and a, and a partial. Okay, right in. So I think it's the back of the water tank that has to be even with it. That would make sense. That's where the spout is, so it must it must count it from there. Okay. Now what I could do is just give a touch of water into each of these. Let's get a little closer here. Now, does that get me going? Yes, and stop. There's enough water to put green into the room. Alright, pull just past and then turn. I should keep 
Well, that's going to be close. That may not be enough. Let's stop right there. Do we get anything? We do. Alright. The rest of the water in there, we need to top off those two again. Otherwise, let's go to the front ones up here. Uh, this guy has come up through here. He's going to run out of poplars soon because he wasted them all. But um, over here, we won't be in his way. And let's go a little bit further, just in case we only have enough to do the, the first two. So I want Q, not Q. I want G, Q. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I can scoop out of that. I really don't know. Interesting. I may have to dump this pile. That makes sense. Okay. So I don't know if I can dip down in. So where to then? Let's go in between. Some place like... Um, right here. That's good. And let's dump off to the... Let's see. Is that the right one selected? Off to the left side. So unload here and tip side back. There we go. You want tip side left. Right there. And then unload is con left control and I. Perfect. Let's build up a pile over here. And we'll just scoop out of that pile. And con left control I. And then get over here and try not to drive over any little trees. And just drop them off. Alright. Now let's see what happens. Now, out of curiosity, put that down there. Where are the greenhouses? It's probably the statistics. Thinking that the eggs are over here, which we do need to drop off. Harvest trees. I'm not getting a sense of it here. Animals. There's nothing here like that. Finances? Finances. That's probably something like other. Vehicle, animal, property, solid. Oh, sold. Sold buildings, construction. I'm not seeing anything like that in there. How do we know at what rate of productivity the greenhouses are going? Game settings, statistics. Sown hectares, we're at 40. Cultivated, we're almost at 40. Fertilized, we fertilized more than we have cultivated and sown. How's that? Oh, because we did three phases for the same field. Okay. Cultivated sowing, driving distance, we've gone 643 kilometers so far. Fuel, seed, fertilizer, trees planted. Trees cut down, time played. Interesting. So if you know how you measure, how you quantify these greenhouses, let me know. Is there an extra page that I'm not seeing? Kind of like uh, this right here with multiple pages within. Uh, how do you find your extra income? productivity finances it would be an income source so so they're they're in a mix your your ins and outs are all mixed together if it's here i'm just glossing over because i'm not seeing it okay did we ever pay off our loan repay total am i getting a sense of a loan here so repay five. Yeah, it's not lit up. Okay, so we did pay off the loan at the very beginning. Just got to thinking we didn't have that hanging over our heads this whole time, did we? All right, so let's go back. I don't see how to know just how well the uh, the greenhouse is doing. Other than we'll just keep the hopper full. All right, let's do this. Let's do this guy first because he's close and see if we get any kind of a pop-up message or something. It's gotta be a way to know that you've done you've done the job right. 
It's so easy to put that bucket right through the glass. Right through the window. Alright. So no sense of percentage accomplished there. We know we have six to seven buckets. So maybe one bucket in each and then we'll spread out the rest. Concentrating hard, trying to make sure I don't accidentally hit the uh, forward instead of the reverse. And right through the, the windows here. Alright, you down. Where am I? Right there. I really have to talk myself through this. It's a little, a little taxing on the brain. That didn't take it all. Let's dip forward a little bit more. There. Feels like I'm scraping dirt off the ground, though, when I do that. All right, um, go around, actually around this way, so I can line up properly. Let's go the far one. Oh, he's taller. That's a little more of a challenge. I remember in Farming Simulator 13, right there, I had one greenhouse that popped in so high I couldn't fill it. I had to get uh, different equipment to pull it off. I think I had to get a telehandler to do it. I had to telescope it into it. Alright, there. There. Like that. I'm hoping that one of these versions of this game, future versions, will allow us to uh, terraform. We can take a bulldozer and actually scrape away at the ground or fill it back in and level off a hill and fill in a, a valley and that sort of thing. That would be nice. D has stopped work unexpectedly. Tank is empty. Okay. All right. Well, everything has got something in it. All of the greenhouses. Right there. And let's just set you off and head. Let's see. Shift tab. Let's go grab another, another uh, flat, another crate. Can I make this turn? Not quite. Coming up on 4 p.m. Wonder when the rain is going to officially stop. Road is clear. I want to um, we put that ca that cultivator away, but this tractor was still dirty before. We still got some dirt in there, but overall he's looking pretty good. But I don't know, it's pretty dirty right there. I still can't conclusively say that the rain washes the vehicles. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, initially it looks good till you look at the details. So we're heading in like so. They're already unstrapped from the vehicle. I actually don't have to get as close as I have before. It's pretty lenient, I think. I can probably hit R from here and accomplish it. Yep. What direction was he going? He, I won't be, I'll be coming in backwards if I come from here, won't I? Now I'll do a little three-point turn. Oh, left my lights on. Turn in the middle there like I did to get out of it. Of course, now we are officially restarting from the wrong side of the field, aren't we? Yep, afraid so. In fact, just for the sake of ease, I'm going to redo that part, part of that row in exchange for the possibility 
that this actually is a viable pattern. Um, yeah, let's start down at the end over there. But in this direction, and he'll turn right. Theoretically. Let's see if that's the case. Especially here, this will be a good test, because he can legitimately turn one way or the other. That Everything is identical mathematically. Both rows have been done. Is he just going to declare that he's done? That's possible, too. All right, well, let's hire. Let's see what happens. Does he stop right now and say helper whatever has finished? No. And we're turning that way. So it did not go to the right. Well, cancel that theory. <laughs> All right. And if it doesn't matter, we'll just get him started and see what happens. Right in there, and higher. Am I off a little bit? I'm off a... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's lined up. All right, tab gets me back here. Left my lights on. Let's go ahead and top off a little bit more. Start with the, uh, the tomato greenhouses, so that we know that those are are completed, both water and manure. We'll just finish on the uh, finish up with the lettuce ones some other time, or maybe even not. It won't uh, run out before this series ends anyway. It's mostly just a uh, just a uh, chance to see it done. That took no, it didn't take it all. Oh, good. So we should have enough manure then for everything. Alright. Now, Poplar Planter, what are you going to do? Turn to the left. Turn to the left. Turn to the left. Arr. On higher, back over here, and babysit you the whole way. You know, one thing that I didn't think about, let's do that, tab back over. Normally, I plant a field at one speed to make sure that we don't transition through a harvest cycle and half the field is ready to harvest and half is not. But I think this time I'm not going to worry too much about it. Though I am curious if anything has gone through the next cycle when we weren't really paying attention. So, soil composition. This harvested. It's actually ready for us to purchase. So we did go through one cycle. So what do we got? We own these two. We're working on this one. We own these. Cultivated. That's ready for something. These aren't happening yet. We own 20. Remove... No, we own 24. And that is harvested. So that's waiting for something. Ready to harvest. We don't own 22. Okay. So we don't have anything that has to be harvested. We were talking about going in and buying this one and planting wheat in there to make sure it actually is wheat. Boy, I would hate to plan the grand finale around field 5 and then find out that they planted um, sugar beets. I'd have to go through and, and top everything and not be able to run any of the harvesters in there. I think we need to go buy that so we can control what goes in it. So let's finish this episode with that. In fact, you know what? Let's just do that now because I'm actually coming up on 40 minutes or so. Let's go visit that one. We'll just do this. We'll just, we'll just write our magic carpet over here. Yeah, there's a sign under me. It's that tiny little line right there. And R. You are Simon Collins. Currently no missions available. Doesn't even want to talk to us, huh? Yeah, rich land baron. He's going to be even richer here right now. Minus $929,000. Wait a minute. Oh, it didn't show empty. I didn't even look out there. Huh? Wait a minute here. What did I see? We were here.
Ready to harvest. What did I see there? I thought I saw... I don't know. I saw something like this, but I thought I saw it right there. Oh well, I timed that one wrong. I guess we didn't go through a cycle. Darn. Well, I've got withering off. Hmm. We'll see. We'll figure out next time what to do with that. But for the moment, let's pop back in over here. That one. Enter. And we got it right. Oh, good. Okay. So I think I will run this one long enough to finish these last two rows. That way, we won't have to go through this again. Let's go ahead and finish this task over here. Then, I guess we're going to... I don't know, maybe just leave the wheat there until it's actually time to harvest it. Not do a, uh, a planting. Since I got weathering off, I guess it'll just sit there and wait for us. Huh. Well, it's one less step than I was going to take. Alright. Send you down here. Oops. Don't you tip out of there. There. Alright, a little higher. Alright, that'll do it. That'll do it. Alright, you're full. Tip over, finish that off, and you could use a little bit more. So I think these two middle ones could use just a touch more. Alright, so you drop down like so. And let's see if we can get the rest of this in the bucket. Well, I think that's everything. You gonna take it all? You're not. You're gonna behave? You are. And the rain stopped, didn't it? Just notice that. It's still a cloudy day, but rain seems to have cleared up. Let's see, right there. And will you take it all? You did. Alright. So we have officially used manure on this series. Otherwise, need water to top off the rest of those. But beyond that, I think we can call this one done. I'll hang around long enough to make sure that uh, that, that helper over there finishes that field. Otherwise, yep, I think we're finished. So this has been Noble Rambler, and I'll catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.